Hi guys, welcome to my new video. This is the English and international version of my previous video of the TIL vocoder. Have fun. So the original video is in German and this is the English overdub version. I made a simple vocal file and dropped the TIL vocoder in it. And as you can hear, you ha hear nothing at all because um, the carrier is missing. The solution of this problem is um, very easy. You have to open a new MIDI file, MIDI track, and insert as the instrument the TAL vocoder and uh, map your MIDI keyboard to it. And as you can hear, it plays in the key range of the master keyboard. And if I change the key, the pitch is changing too. And there's a poly modus too, so you can play uh, chords simply as that. On the right side of the plugin, there's a chorus uh, modus, so you can this widen up the sound. In the center of the plugin, there's a little equalizer section, so you can control your frequencies and you don't have to open your channel strip. Down below are four important wheels. The first one is a S volume, so you can change your sounds. And right behind is the release button, the release knob to uh, change uh, the release speed. And right after there's a harmonic knob, so you can add harmonic overtones. And the last one is a volume knob, so you can change the plugin's volume. Uh, so you don't have to open your mixer section. It's very important. On the left side, you can change the octaves. And there's also the carrier section. The carrier section is a little synth part and it's made of the pulse wave, the saw wave, the sub oscillator and the noise part. And if you drag down all of this, uh, no sound is generated. And as you hear, if you change the synth part, the carrier part, the voice is changing too, so the carrier signal is changing. And so you can mix your own voice. Below the carrier are uh, typical tuning parts, uh, fine tunes and uh, normal tunes, so you can change the tuning of the voices of the carriers. And it's MIDI controllable, so you can um, automate it with your DAW or with your hardware controllers. So that's all about the voice part and now begins the fun. You can use the vocoder with any uh, sound source you want. Um, for example, uh, drum loops, external instruments, software instruments or guitars, bass guitars, etc. etc. In my part I'm using arpeggiator, um, simple percussive arpeggiator from my tie it's a built-in software synthesizer and I wanted to build so uh, old school house chords and yeah that's how I done it. Enjoy. The most important on a vocoder is to experiment because every microphone, every sound source is different. So you have to uh, change the pitch, um, change the carrier signal, so experiment with it. And the last tip I 
want to give is uh, to add a little reverb and delay so the voicing is much better and as always have fun with experimenting and i will see you soon bye This is a test.